Good morning, and it's Tuesday, and it's time to tackle one of those tasks that we don't really like to do that much, but this month, the habit of the month with the Fly Lady is Swish and Swipe, and it sounds just like what you're going to do. You're going to give your toilet a quick swish each morning, and you're going to swipe that sink and your counter area, and you're going to be done. Every day, if you do this, you will not have to deep clean that bathroom ever again. And it is such an easy thing to do, but you just have to make it a habit. You have to do it every day to get it ingrained into your day. I do it every day. It does not matter what I've done that morning. I do a quick swish and swipe. It has to be a really big emergency that rushes me out of the house for me not to do my swish and swipe. And I even find myself on the road wanting to do swish and swipe there too because it is such a part of my morning routine. I've also taught my boys to do this, and you know with boys in bathrooms, it definitely needs attention every day. So I've taught them how to do swish and swipe. Theirs is just a little bit different because they also need to wipe around the rim daily on their toilet, where I don't really have to do that but about once a week on my bathroom. So, you know, there are a few differences when you have boys, but swish and swipe is one of those easy things. You just have to keep your counter decluttered in the bathroom so you can swipe it really quick. I also have hard water and we have iron in our water because we live in the foothills of North Carolina with that red clay mud and it's uh, in our well. So even through the different processes of filtering still there's some hard water issues. And I also wipe down my shower walls and give my tub a quick wipe every morning. All of this takes me two to two and a half minutes. It is not a long drawn out process but it's something that I can do quickly and I don't have to deep clean because let's face it, if we have to deep clean that bathroom for 30 minutes or an hour, we don't want to do it. And I don't want you in there trying to chisel up all this nasty stuff. If you do this quick swish and swipe, the nasty stuff does not have a chance to build up. I keep my swisher for my toilet in a plastic water vase that has just a little bit of soap or a little bit of shampoo and water. I just pull it out, give it a quick shake, swish the toilet, put it back every day. Quick and easy peasy. The other thing that makes it really easy is that I've taught the boys to use my purple cloth after me. So they're automatically reminded every day to go ahead and do their swish and swipe because when I finish mine, I take the purple cloth to their bathroom. And then when they wipe the rim, they just use toilet paper that they can flush away. What is the one thing in your house that you avoid doing that you procrastinate? Generally, when I talk to the ladies that I mentor, it's either dusting or the bathrooms and mopping is the other one so those are the top three things that get put off but if you do them regularly they're not really that bad we did not get all of our mopping finished on Friday because we had the workmen come in to do the internet and set up the satellite and they kind of interrupted our process so my kitchen floor is really the only one that got mopped on Friday and you know what it's not that bad because it's done every week anyway and it wouldn't hurt if we did a quick damp mop between now and this Friday, but if not, it's not going to be horrible. We sweep pretty much every day because, as you can see from my background here, we live in the middle of the woods. Boys go in and out of the house all day long, so we pretty much have to sweep every day just to get up whatever they've tracked in. But I have trained them to clean their shoes, and I have trained them to sweep up behind themselves. So just this little bit of maintenance that we do helps. Now we're decluttering in our master bedroom, and if you follow along with my zone missions, I've been pretty specific about what to get rid of this week. I want you to declutter in your closet this week. Get rid of those tops that don't fit that you don't feel good in. Get rid of those bottoms that have been there for 10 years, because I know some of you have had pants and skirts in there well over 10 years. When I did a really deep clean of my clothes that I had stored in the, the seasonal section, I found a dress from the 80s. Yeah, that was last summer. And I got rid of it. I decluttered it, and actually one of the girls on Facebook asked me for it, and she was going to repurpose it into something else, because it really was a cute print. But it was time to let it go and let it move on. So today, I want you to declutter five tops from your closet. Five. Because I know you got five in there you don't like, that don't fit good, that you don't feel good in. And then I want you to get rid of two bottoms. So I'm not being really overboard with this, so it takes a long time. 
you can do that in five minutes because I know you can flip through those shirts and you can find five tops that you haven't worn in a couple of years. So let me know down in the comments when you've done that. If you're doing your home blessings every day, let me know how you're doing getting them worked into your routines. I did mine on Friday last week with the mopping and then we did the other stuff yesterday on Monday. So I want you to have a good week. I don't want you to be stressed out trying to do a lot, but I want you to do these small routines so that you can start seeing how they build. Because some of us will be starting school back in the next month and we need to get these habits in place so that we're ready to roll for our school year. Have a great day. Please go ahead and drop in any questions you have down here in the comments or email me at Tammy at TammyFox.com. And I hope you have a beautiful day. I'm going to enjoy the sun in North Carolina even if it is a little bit humid today.